Hi guys, welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. It's nearly nine o'clock. I've had to leave it this long because my anaesthetic has finally worn off. This side of my face was like mesh earlier on. <laughs> Thankfully, I could wear a mask. I had to do an Aldi shop after I'd been in uh, after I'd been in, in there because I was in in Hexham. You'll see some clips and uh, I I. My oh, I was numb. Eye socket was numb. My eye wasn't working properly. My nose was numb, and oh, it was awful. But I have been sorted out. He has well one side. I had, as I said, I had that one and that one. This one won't be done until I'll either get a cancellation or April. Um, but this one here is root canaled, filled. Didn't prep it for a crown. I was like, please, please don't crown it. Let me. He needs. It. He's very keen on getting a full treatment done, and I was like, please, I know. And he's like, well, the tooth might crack. I'm like, it's a risk I'm gonna run. Please fill it. And then I went, can I have a white filling? Because on the NHS, if unless it's a a front tooth, they put amalgam fillings, the metal fillings. I said, please, can you put a white, please put a white filling in it. So I'm, really, I'm actually really pleased. But he's, my gum's really raw. He had to, because he washed it out with what smelled like bleach, actually. Really quite strong bleach. He put like a, a rubber thing and just exposed the tooth. And he had, it was all wrapped up right around the tooth. So my gum's pretty raw around it. So it's very, a little bit tender. But the dentist was fine. And not too gory at all and it's and I'm I think the feeling's all back now and it's only ten it's only tender on my gum the tooth itself so it feels fine right I had the day off I've been stitching <laughs> I've actually got some stitching done um, so I popped to the post office this morning and got some customs forms because if you don't go in prepped they get grumpy if you have to write out the customs form so I have a good chunk of customs forms I can get all of that sorted now it's just another little thing that's been holding me up I have a million excuses right that's been holding me up anyway I can't complain that I haven't stitched today so when I got back from the post office I actually filmed the little clip of me driving through uh, from Brampton where are the post offices through past through the little market where it's not even a market town it's a large village and from where I parked I drove about a third of the way home look I got bleach on my hoodie I wore it to work and I splashed bleach on it oops it was my newest jumper and uh, I bleached it anyway <laughs> I just saw it catch the light I'm ping-ponging around my brain's a little scrambled did you see that <laughs> So when I got home from that, I sat down and did some stitching. <laughs> That's what a couple of hours off in the morning does. So this guy is finished. He just needs buttons for his eyes and the lumps of coal for his mouth. That's completely finished. And a polar bear is, I'm tempted to say, I haven't, I haven't filled in the polar bear, so I'm going to say about half. I've got the welt along the bottom one sleeve and that bit and to fill in his face and then he'll be done and then I'll have the three and then I'll cut them off so I'm going to try and get this one done sooner rather than later next day or two I'll get this one done get it cut off and then I can finish those three hey hey though look they are superb little patterns really super easy to stitch that was literally I'm only going to say two and a half hours stitching maybe and I had some help from some cats so uh, I think that's done really nicely and then when Robin finally got up I uh, came up the stairs and I stitched first thing I did was get my sewing machine up and I stitched on waste fabric and it's black but it's very thick jersey so it will really hold into the cue snap well I stitched on to my piece of colonial blue which of course is popping now because I've got the black around it so that I can start the dreaming the Christmas salve thing so that's there 
that's because I only really use an 11 by 11 frame for everything. I've got about five of them now, but I use them for everything apart from the snow wizard and a couple of the big pieces which are on like homemade scroll rods. Um, other than that, I use 11 by 11s, which are my much, much preferred size of choice. So I also put some waste fabric around the greeny piece and I might have started the sow. So here we go. This is where I am at. There it is. On the greeny blue fabric. But that's how it looks. And I have got left to do. Let's have a look. Um, that's the first building of four. Four more to go. First building of five. And then it says there's a little sign that reads peace. Two snowmen. Two big trees. Oh, that's my battery trilling. Two big trees and something under here. Uh, three snowmen. Uh, yeah, another snowman. So two snowmen this side of the trees. Two trees, a snowman and four, uh, three little houses here underneath that, which gives you the piece left over for the dreaming girl. So I'm using all the charted colours apart from this gold, which as you can see is really shiny. This star is wrong. It's one too many stitches wide. I've looked at it and I've looked at it and I've decided it genuinely doesn't matter. It genuinely doesn't matter. It is wrong though. Just one stitch out, but it's made the star a bit lopsided. But So the gold I'm using is this which I found in the sewing machine, threads. It's very shiny. So this is made by Gutemann, which I believe is the same people who make Sulky. I assume it's a German company on account that it's Gutemann, but it is made in Japan. And this is just labeled Lurex. Meta oh no, it's labeled metallic, 200 meters, to 60% uh, polyamide and 40% polyester and it is 7007 and you know when you go into a big craft shop there's all the sewing machine the ordinary cotton threads all just see this is how I know they make sulky because this one here is one of the sulky blender balls except this is very very fine this is cotton 30 instead of cotton 12 which is one of which is uh, sewing machine thread, ordinary sewing thread. But that's one of the sulky blender balls. That's like varying oranges. My brain is a little scrambled. So when they got them and they all that way and you can kind of, I used to poke them when I was a child and my mum used to always grumble at me and go, mm, don't touch them, you'll get them dirty. But, and then I said it to my children too. And then I find myself doing it because you can when you can put them in. Anyway, you, everyone knows. Yeah, they're there, and it's meant for sewing machines. I think, I think sewing machines. But I thought you know, it's very very fine. There, can you see the filament there? So I just used it double, and two strands was difficult. So I did a long strand, and threaded it through the needle in a loop, and then tied the knot on the end. So that after each each pull up, I could just pull it and it would take the little loop out of it. And I think, even though that's only two strands, I think that's not, I think that's the easiest I've ever stitched metallic and it is super shiny. And not bad at all. And my stitches, they're okay. You know, for metallic stitches, they're okay. I don't like metallic stitches because they never look neat. They never look, they never lie nicely. So I'm quite happy with that. And I'll probably, that was the goldest of the golds that were there. There was probably four or five different golds and then several silvers. There's a pewtery colour. There's quite a lot of them. I quite like them now. Anyway, I mean, that's 32 count over two. If I was doing 40 count over two or 25 count, you know, over one that would be brilliant much you know really good coverage with with two strands it is super fine it's way finer than a strand of dmc 
very happy with that. Got that to quilt bags. Halloween bags, of course, Halloween's been and gone. Yep. So, anyway, that's the stitching I've done. So I've motored on with that. Um, I have a funny feeling I'm going to stitch it on the blue fabric too. I want to see what it looks like on the blue fabric. And I don't think I'd have stitched the waste fabric onto it if I wasn't going to use it as well. So I'm go I've got it on the greeny blue. And I'm going to might have it on the bluey blue. And we'll decide what we're doing with them when we've done them. I do like it though, it's a lovely pattern. The pattern's just so pretty, so easy. Her little houses are so cute, the little trees just work. Screams Barbara Anna. Absolutely screams Barbara Anna at me, so I love it. Um, yeah, so that's been my day. I've basically been at home and been stitching and just put that waste fabric on there. Um, not, not much else going on. My magnet tower of needle winders has cured. My magnets are all stuck on really well. So I should be good now. No more. Oh, I can't quite get it done yet. I can get it done now. They have their magnets on. They just need the pretties on the back. And I found two that didn't belong. I put magnets on while I was there. So I've got a green one, a green and kind of gold sparkly one, and a blue with just a just a hint of green through it. And they're from a different batch. So they'll be going on Etsy. Along with these, they're they're not, they're different. So we motor along. Um I need to do my giveaway. So you're gonna get lots of little clips at the end of this. We are going to, um, so I've got the little drive from the post office sort of halfway home and then we've got a little clip of Hexham where I start sort of down in the park and I do a full, I just basically, I was standing on a bench, Maddie was rolling her eyes at me, something terrible, going all the way round and Hexham Abbey comes into view we went in i was going to do a little a little bit of vlogging in hexham abbey except there was a school christmas carol practice going on which i know would have been lovely but i don't think i should have filmed them because they were they were practicing walking up and processing and i was like i can't really film in here with them in there because obviously there's lots of little children that aren't my kids and yeah, I, I decided against. So, and then when I came out, not only was my mouth like, my face felt this, this size, but it was pitch dark and stained glass windows don't work in the dark. So I'm sure I'll be going back there. And if I am, I'll give, I'll give myself enough time to actually pop in properly. Um, but uh, other than that, that was, uh, um, Sorry, I'm just I'm just getting my link. There we go. Which are obviously confusing confusing me having to talk and and find a link. You know, it's all a bit much for me. So yeah, so I didn't I didn't go in and film um, just because there was a lot of school children in there doing their thing, and I didn't I didn't want to uh, you know show anybody I shouldn't. If people are just milling through, that's different to um different um and then when i left the dentist i drove down to collect maddie there's a little bit there where it, you can see how a little kooky and narrow the streets are weirdly enough doesn't freak me out at all i lived in hexham i used to i used to live there i lived in this kooky little 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 townhouse with kitchen and the bathroom were downstairs the living room is on the middle and the bedroom and a little toilet were upstairs and it was like this this three little rooms one on top of the other and I had a little courtyard out the back and it was heaven I tell you what if I, if I go back from with this tooth I'll walk you past my first I only rented it but I'll walk you past my first house because it is just a little peach it's just gorgeous um anyone who's ever parked in uh, been to Hexham and parked in the big car park at the bottom which has now got a swimming pool and a waitrose in it in the waitrose in, in Hexham it's our nearest, it's our only Waitrose. Um, 
and you walk up to the town up the little high street you'll have walked past my first house because it's there on the left it's one of those old oh it was super old it was gorgeous I loved it I moved I moved there oh with my girls with my girl I moved I, I moved there by myself and when I left there I moved into the house I had before I had this house when I was with my girl's ex well my girl's dad my ex hit their their dad um so it's got lovely memories for me and now <laughs> slightly tarnished memories too anyway I love I love Hexham it's a wonderful place it's just got a lovely feel about it and uh yeah so there's that and then there's a little bit after I picked Maddie up I drove back up through the town and down again so because we, we went to LD so uh, I just did a little loop round so it's a little bit of dark it's dark and sparkly and you can see all the little cutie buildings so it'll be on right at the end anyway so for yesterday we're playing for this little guy Ooh. here turn around little man we were playing for him so how many comments did I get get YouTube comments 73 thank you and let's go to the bottom Ugh. get the no let's get the button there and let's press start who's it picked for us it's picked Roxanne Larson and she's <laughs> she's but i love watching your videos i enjoy listening to you ramble i ramble the same way but usually to myself i do it to myself too that's why i thought do a floss tube because i talk all the time to myself anyway thank you i now know i'm not alone in my storage imperfections perfect there's got to be lots of us that are like this there's got to be we're not all perfect perfect people you know we're not all we all have good intentions i'm sure but yeah what goes on behind the camera is not always the same as what's in front so I thought literally bollocks to it which is you're just gonna get me and all my crap you'll notice the crap's just just accumulating that desk was I put the desk up the desk was clear and today we have sewing machines out on it look the tapes hanging off the end yeah there we go that is what it is this is where I sit and stitch so this is where I sit and vlog it's the same I'm just I am what I am I haven't tackled the yarn yet I did buy a bag of bag of sprouts I haven't tackled the yarn yet I just didn't get to it in time I was uh, otherwise occupied today with this thing so I'll get to it I've got to because I've got to get on with it really um, yeah so from tomorrow we have to wear face masks at work so I'm back wearing a mask for my entire shift which I thought we were done with but never mind it's fine I'm now just looking at my fabrics thinking well I need to make myself some new masks I've actually got so many masks but I'm thinking well, I need some nice new Christmassy ones so we'll see what I we'll see what I turn up I'm just a bit concerned that they're going to make us wear them on Saturday because it's going to be a super long shift and it's very I find it very hard when I'm wearing a mask because <laughs> I don't express myself very well if you can't see this bit of me apparently I look really pissed off all the time so I was really pleased because when I started working there I had to wear a mask the whole time so apparently people just thought I was grumpy ass right up until the mask came off and then they realized I was probably smiling the whole time but <laughs> Hey ho. Anyway, right, we're long enough because we've got some clips to go on the end today, as I say, and uh, yeah, giveaway for tomorrow. Let's just take. Oh, I think I'd already. Had I already parceled one up? No. Yes. Yes, I have. This is the giveaway for tomorrow. It's a nice swirl, this one. Swirly needle minder tomorrow. Oh yeah, that's picking up lovely. Go into my sweater. There we go. Well, that one's going to be the random dip tomorrow. And uh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I forgot to say, ping me on Instagram and uh, for the. Hang on. What have I done? Ah. 
I don't know what I'm doing. I've got no idea. I've malfunctioned. I can't find it. Pin me on Instagram to, to claim your prize and give me a let me know your postal address, please. And um, yeah, lovely. <sighs> I think I'm done. I shall see you tomorrow, guys. Um, be about this. I think this is this is about the time of night that I'm going to be doing them. I think um, normal day tomorrow should only be nine till four. Should get home, get a bit stitch time in. I'm off on Friday, so. At the moment, I don't think I'm going into work, which will be nice because Saturday's the Christmas party and it's going to be long. If they need me in tomorrow, I will be going. Uh, um, on on Friday, I will be going in, but we'll see. We'll see if I'm needed. If I'm not needed, I'm not going in. If I'm not needed, um, I think we're pretty much set up as it is. So nothing I can't fix on a Saturday morning. Uh, I think I'll be in about from about lunchtime on Saturday, so that will be all be fine. Right, oh, I shall. Uh, I shall get off. Clips are on their way. If you want to have a look at them, if you're not interested in them, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Either way, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye bye for now. So this is Bella being a little bit naughty with our rainbow boa who is called snaky snake. She's technically Flora snake, but we're all absolutely terrified of her can only see the first like five inches of her there she's actually probably getting on six foot long you can see she's a really narrow little snake and she's beautiful because her skin is iridescent yeah she bites she bites anyone who goes near her so bella's been a bit dumb Emma, there i think you really don't want to do that there's bumpy because i'm on cobbles because of course we're cobbled thought i'd drive this way through my little village this is the little village where we are it's market day as you can see oh, i thought to show you the little twee village and there's a little farmer's market on today here and this is actually the first time I've driven past since I left my old job. I used to work just up here. I'll drive past and I'll show you. It's the first time I've driven past since I left because I've been almost deliberately going the other way. So I've just dropped my kids at school. I've been to the post office. I've picked up a huge pile of customs forms because I'm going to be needing them. And it's much easier if you go to the post office ready. Okay, now this building here on the left, where this van is, just here, on the left here, I worked in that building there on the left with that big red door for three years in-house. And now I'm just going to go home and I'm going to do some stitching, get some, get some packages packaged up today. I'll see you later guys. still recording. I'm hopeless for pushing the button as our little cottage hospital, which is actually uh, not useful for us at all. We have to go into town. Oh well. I'll drive you out this way then. <laughs> this is one of the other ways home. You can see within within the space of what, two minutes? We're rural. There's the national speed limit sign and now we are out in the sticks already. Not much else going on out here. Everything looks so dreary at the moment, doesn't it? Everything's all wintry and wet. We're very wet today. And there's the main road above us, on the, up there. That's the road I drive to my work now on. That's the big road. I'm above your head, honey. Yeah, I'm above your head. Oh, right. So I am just done, and my mouth is very, very numb, which is super. He's flushed me, I think. 
Did you flush me? You didn't. You did flush me. Then let me go. Oh, my nose is numb. That's worse than my mouth. Okay, so just straighten you up a little bit. Oh, there we go. Here's a little bit of the kooky bit of Hexham. Now I'm fine driving around here because I used to live here. <clears throat> I used to live in this village. Oh my God, there's a big wagon though. I'm just gonna, he's waiting for me. Thank you very much. Best, whoop, click the curb there. There was the best antique shop in the world on the right hand side there. And there's a whoop, red light here. Is he waiting? He is waiting. Here we go. Uh, so I'm going down to get Maddie because she's wandered around and she's wandered off. So I'm going to go and come out and find my girl. Oh my goodness me, my face is numb. So he's fixed one. He's root canaled me and filled one of the two. And I've got an appointment in April <laughs> for the other one, which I'm good with. The longer the better. Ow. Oh, my face is numb. Oh dear. I think he's given me the anaesthetic with adrenaline as well because my heart was racing all the way through that. Like really racing. And it got dark while I was in there. Oh my god, my mouth is numb. Come on, out my way. everything blurry. Can you do well with blurry? Why are we blurry? Is, my, is that blurry? Yes. I, I are at breast payment in Chargill. That'll do me. That's cheap and cheerful. You may as well come out. You bloody dr just reversed into the street. <laughs> she needs you for a... She reversed first. It just so happens I need a nice little shiny new car. Oh my god, the mini, mini, mini. Oh, did you see it? Just cut. Oh. Anyway. No, I didn't. It, it whizzed. Don't you do the same thing. I'll let you across. Just so you're not blocking the road. Sorry, I flashed my big bright lights at you. There we go. I think I wanted Rolos. I think you might have wanted that whole packet. Oh, uh, there's two more. <laughs> Oh, I, I wanted, I've been craving them for a quite a few weeks now. I couldn't find any. You should have found me and I'd have sent you roll offs. I've sent you a box full of rollos. I was just milling about trying to go over all the little nooks and crannies gra that Grandma used to take me and Tom down. I was trying to see if they actually existed or not, and no, I wasn't just speaking of it. I remember this magic alley. Oh, wait, it's just a bin. No, there is magic alleys in this bit here. Well, this Definitely. bit and the, the bit over there. I, I went like around the um, field park thing. All right, for a little little jargle then. <laughs> right. Then went tuned again, going, where's mummy, where's mummy, where's mummy? I'm having hard tools from Yanks and Schlaft and... I, I was like saying it's rush hour, but what if she's sitting in the car park messaging me over and over and over, and I'm just like standing no. in front of majestic wines? No, I was on my way. Should have gone in. <laughs> Should have gone in. <laughs> Got ID. Yes. Thank you, dentist. See you later. Quite a lot of the time in Cambridge, they don't think twice. Uh, other times, they, well, they know anybody at yeah. university is of age. That's the thing. They're but, not. They're not going to be overly concerned. <laughs> but other times, you'll get one trying to looking at a driver's license like they're trying to like holding up to the light. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, you won't know the name.